stuns them a little bit, or? Uh, it Do makes them, uh... It's like a weed, you know? <laughs> It blocks uh, their alarm pheromone and it kind of forces them uh, down onto the face of the frames rather than uh, interrupting you up at the top. Like especially if we crush one, they'll send out an alarm pheromone, but this masks it. Yeah. It also, I think, gives them the impression that there's a forest fire. Yeah. So. <clears throat> But no. All right, I'm drawing on this one. Both sides. That's heartening. This one hasn't really been drawn as much as the other one. But they've also been having some issues. What you see? It's just uh, see calf honey on this one. Honey? Yeah, storage. <sighs> no Doesn't eggs? Make it harder to see. No, they were all, they were on the other side, uh, weren't they? Yeah. shave down the side of this one or maybe leave it on the very end just more cat stuff lots of drones on here Yeah, the, uh, when, uh, brood gets raised in it, it darkens it. So, like, the more it's you, the more bees get raised in it, the darker it gets. That and, uh, little bits of the cocoon that they spin while they pupate. Got them April 11th. Sun's sun's got them so warm. Well, that one uh, that you could feel that it was like a hot sticky tag. Well. Remember what he said about cleaning off the propolis? From the side? Yes. He said it's important to scrape that stuff. Yeah. Bird cone. To scrape. Very nice. These bees are always much calmer anyway. 
They're not near as loud. Yeah. Real chill. Oh yeah. Thank you for noticing. You can have some of those canna lilies if you want. Oh, they got this one all short because the frame next to it, they built out more. See how, how shallow they built it out before they capped it. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, try and deal with that. Capped up, larva on the periphery, getting younger and younger as you go out. I love it. That's beautiful. And on this side, that's all built out so wide. Got a little queen cell. Nothing in it. Very nice. So this is the one that, where they've had to clean the whole time. Yeah, that's why. Like this frame, this side of this frame is. Uh, yeah. All baby bees. in these empty cells down here. Ah, it's so hard to see in this veil. Yeah, I found it blinding. But, you know, new bee jacket, you give it a shot. 
<laughs> we'll offer it to anyone who wants to get up close and personal. Yeah. When we're inspecting them. Besides stupid humans, do bees have enemies? Wasps. Wasps. Uh, Varroa mites. Yeah. Uh, parasites. Uh. <clears throat> Varroa mites were introduced to the United States in 1986. They're a big problem. Yeah, they, they carry lots of uh, viruses. They came over from China. Beekeeping has gotten harder. They have more enemies now than ever. More. Yeah. They like the issue with bees isn't just one thing. It's they call it you know like death by a thousand cuts. Right. You know it's multiple factors. Definitely the pesticides. Yeah, between the pesticides and parasites. And yeah. They have a lot of struggle. Loss of natural habitat in the wild. Their home is in old trees. With whole, you know. here on the edges, there are eggs on this my right side. And then they just get older and older until that, that stuff they cap in the middle. And they spend, if I remember right, they spend the longest amount of time uh, capped like that. And then they emerge as uh, adults. Another empty queen cup. But yeah, this one's doing really well. Just exactly, you know, what you hope for. Let's start uh, scraping this, huh? Mm hmm. Cap drones, cap workers. She's just going around laying eggs in any cell she can find. Really? Yeah. Wow. I haven't seen her yet. Thank you. 
Nearly capped. Yeah, I mean, you can really tell a difference with the way that each of these are built out compared to the other. It's oh, a lot yeah. more brood. Yeah. I think this box then is on its third queen. Yeah, since we got it. So really? this one is on the. Because the, the one we put in after there was the original, and then we put one in that was, uh, you know, pretty much black. And then that one, you know, very end was dark, but it had some gold up closer to its wings and stuff. Doesn't didn't look like the same queen we put in there. And there was a, a queen cell we must have missed. That had emerged. That had emerged. So yeah. that's probably the one. They made a queen. Eggs. <clears throat> More eggs. But there's also open cells. Are there open cells? Yeah, here and there. There she is. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Very extra careful with that one. <laughs> Start. Ow. Get strong? Oh, I see it. Put some smoke on it. Got a bunch of gunk. Yo. Wow. They make propolis out of tree sap. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And what all do they use it for? It, uh, they use it to seal up cracks and stuff. And also, uh, it is uh, antibacterial and antifungal and stuff. So it's also like kind of medicates their living area. So what he's scraping is the propolis. Otherwise, those frames will stick together. Yeah. yeah. How often do you do that? Uh, I'm going to start doing it more. This is the first time I ever have. Uh, the older frames definitely have more of it. But they'll kind of propolize the... Uh, Framed together. So I'm having to scrape it off where they uh, touch. That's the only place you need to scrape it. 
where they touch. Joe's given this frame space since we found the queen on it. We know she's in here. Can you just slide that that frame closer to the side? You want to inspect your box every seven to ten days, top to bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we've been doing it on the weekends, Sundays. I don't think I'm going to put another box on this one yet. No? No. Just because, like, that one had some, that one had, like, one frame that really had just started to be drawn. This one still has, this foundation is empty, and this starter strip, they've only just started uh, mm -hmm. doing anything with. That's hard to see. So this is a frame where Joe has put the starter strip foundation all the way through it. They'll build it up. Thank you. <gasps> this question. No, I just unbuild the frame. You really gum it up. Yeah. We're masking ourselves. Yeah. They're distracted by thinking there's a fire. They're distracted by not being able to read each other's pheromones. We're masking ourselves in their presence. We're, we're cloaked. Yeah. And these bees, Ben said when we were, I think when we were putting in the queen, like one bee in the calmest, these are a one, and these are about a three, calm in, bees. His, in his expert okay. opinion. Okay. Bees, colonies have personalities. Some yeah. are more aggressive, just naturally. That's their, their uh, genetic lines. Right. So they really breed docile bees. Yeah, people, people that, you know, breed bees, however, uh, commercially or whatever the scale, you know, they have things uh, that they'll choose a colony to raise new queens from, you know, based on 
you know, how calm the workers are, how much, uh, how much they move around, how much they respond to stuff and whatnot. That sentence kind of fell apart, but, you know. Got the videographer here, and I'm doing the stills. <laughs> that's Only one sting so far on Joe's little pointer <laughs> finger. No, I got it got, one got my thumb earlier. Too. Oh, really? Oh, in the first one. That one, the one that got my thumb, I didn't feel until a minute or two It later. is good. You want to be stung at least once a month when you keep these. Well, if past experience is anything to go by, my finger doesn't swell up like my arm and my hand do. When I got stung on my forehead, it wasn't nearly as big of a deal when I got stung on my leg. No, it was reverse. It was an easy reaction the first time I got stung, and then on my leg. It, I think body parts matter. Where yeah. you get stung matters. Yeah, my scalp didn't uh, didn't swell up or really react at all. Same. Maybe where there's less blood and meat, you know, because down like on my leg, it like got big. But you're exposed to the venom when you work with bees, so it's good to get your right. vaccination once a month. These, uh, aren't, I don't think they're quite ready for another, for a super yet. Just based on how many frames they've actually drawn, which is weird. Because it seemed like that one wasn't drawing as much. Right. But there's a lot of bees in here, so. Excuse us. They'll be ready before very long at all. There's honey already. Yeah, like a lot of the these frames over here and through here, they haven't had a queen, so it's kind of all throughout. They've got honey, but in this one, the queens lay an eggs more on this side and they have more of their honey stored over here. But it won't be long. I rearranged uh, some of the less drawn frames more towards the middle, which will encourage them to build them out. By the end of the summer, we should have how much honey? Ooh, I couldn't even say. Like, <laughs> if you said 50. These boxes, I forget. I know a deep box can weigh like, a 10 frame deep box of honey weighs like 90 pounds. Wow. So I think these medium ones can weigh like, 45, 50, maybe 60, I don't know, like, there are people with established colonies and, like, pre-drawn everything who are on, like, big commercial farms, and they, on a good year, they can get, you know, over 100 pounds, maybe close to 200 off a single colony, but I, I have no idea what to expect of them around here just kind of seeing what we get and plus you know they're just starting out this year yeah so uh you know a lot of the resources are going to building out the comb and everything and so they're coming right along yeah um we got some hardware cloth we're gonna make so it's like um so it'll still, we'll re-reduce it, but the hardware cloth, you know, lets more air. Screened. And these have uh, screens on the bottom. It'll be like, like that material. Is like a hardware cloth screen. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh, very cool. They are both. This one. It's like you've been, you've this been doing about this to explode. for quite a while. He's been reading about it all, all yeah. COVID, all so COVID. I got, I got all this information. It's now the 
but no, that's good. You just got to learn to apply it. Yeah, yeah. What's the most important? I like it. This one, they got uh, some queen cups built in there, which they like to have around. So I have them and say, I don't think they'll, they're in danger of swarming. But what do I know? Uh, <laughs> But, so I'm going to take that as a good sign, you know, they're doing their thing, yeah. planning for the future that we'll try and prevent, <laughs> losing half of these.